Good afternoon. My name is uh, Janis van der Weesteisen. I am the head of department uh, in the Department of Politics and International Relations at Stellenbosch. And uh, we're, well, we're pleased to welcome you in uh, our uh, virtual open day stall. Uh, and I decided to talk to you today about what is political science about, because most uh, students, especially um, people at school, have no idea and they often wonder why on earth would I bother to study politics. And they usually have a big misconception about what politics is. So there are kind of three myths or three uh, things that people think that are completely wrong that I want to talk about. But the two most important of these two is that people think that politics doesn't affect their lives, it has nothing to do with them. And they think, well, why would I study political science? I don't want to become a politician. So I want to just quickly, I'll be less than five minutes, tell you why these are completely wrong and these are misconceptions. And then just to think about uh, politics as a subject uh, and, and, and the value it could have for you also in terms of, of a career. So let's quickly talk about this idea that, that, that especially uh, children at school, kids at school think that politics doesn't have any impact on their life. They, they think that politics is only about the ANC and the DA or the EFF, and it's only about parliament, and it's only about political parties, when those things are actually a very, very small part of politics. Politics is about much, much more. Politics really is about power relationships. Who's got the power? And, and there's power relationships in your life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed at night. Um, and I'll just quickly grab a few examples. If you just think about the whole politics around climate change, if you're going to buy a new car one of these days, you're going to pay a special levy for climate change. It's going to, that money's going to come out of your pocket. Um, if you follow the debates on why some people are ditching WhatsApp and going on to other uh, social media platforms, there's politics involved because people are concerned about their privacy and their rights as a citizen to have private communications. And then, of course, most obviously is the whole pandemic that we're living through and why we have to do this as a, as a virtual open day and we can't do it uh, as, our, as we normally do face-to-face. Uh, -face. So, COVID-19 and the crisis of COVID-19 has been deeply political. You know, every day people are discussing the issue about when are we going to get vaccines? Why did South Africa take so long to get its house in order to get vaccines? And then in, in, in the international domain, the, 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 the dimension is even more obvious. I don't think anybody can now say that international relations doesn't affect my life at all because Remember, something that happened in December 2019 in Wuhan has led to you being stuck behind a computer now. And that is because of the of international politics. We also see the rise of China and the United States and the, and the, and the political feuds between these two and, and who's going to be first with getting the most effective vaccines. Uh, we also saw during the lockdown how especially women who had to stay at home when we were in that hard lockdown in level four and five, we, we heard a lot about domestic violence increasing. There's another dimension of politics, right? So it's the, 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 the politics of gender relations, which was very severe. And then we've got the politics of class. We now realize that during the lockdown, it also increased inequality because some people could work from home uh, because they could do everything online as we are doing it now. But a lot of people were not as lucky. People who worked in restaurants and had to earn a living as a waiter or people who were domestic workers, a lot of these people couldn't work. So, so we also saw a class inequality emerging and that's just from, from, from the COVID crisis. So again, the point I'm making is politics is, is, is everywhere and it affects every dimension of your life. The second thing I quickly want to talk about is people often say, or students, when they come to our stall, they say, oh, the last job I want to have is to become a politician. But the funny thing is not one of our students actually have become a politician. Uh, most of our students end up in a whole variety of different jobs. And I'm just quickly going to give you a, three, a few examples. Some of my previous master's students uh, are working at Standard Bank. One of my old MA students is, is a top um, 
uh, political economist with Standard Bank. He advises uh, investment funds. I have an old master student who did her thesis on Turkey. She's now working for British American Tobacco. Uh, we have an, an old student who's working for Rand Merchant Bank. We have a lot of old students who are working in the Department of Foreign Affairs. And we have some students working at political risk companies, companies that do research for companies. For example, if they want to go and dig a mine in Nigeria, what are the risks involved? Is it worthwhile uh, making those kind of investments? These are the things that our students end up doing. Some of them also use their politics as a, as a, as a building block to something else. For example, a couple of years ago, we had a... Uh, honors student he did an honors degree with us that's the fourth year and when he finished the honors he went to the red and yellow advertising school he wanted to use his politics background to launch a career in advertising and the reason why politics is so useful it gives you really the big picture it gives you a sense of what's happening in the world and how do things fit together we call this analytical capacity or analytical skills so for example if we ask the question why is it that a politician like Donald Trump was elected president of the United States? Why did the United Kingdom decide to leave the, the European Union? If we ask these questions, some people say the reason for these things happening is because of the rise of China, right? So as political and economic power is gradually shifting away from Europe and North America to the East, to China, Southeast Asia, and that part of the world, people that were wealthy and affluent in, in a previous eras are sensing that jobs and economic opportunities are moving eastward. And this is forcing them to vote for parties that try to get out of globalization, right? So we're seeing a link between Brexit, the rise of Donald Trump, and the greater power shifting into East Asia. So these are the kind of things we try and, uh, and, and get students to realize and to see. And, and these kind of skills you can use on a, in a whole variety of jobs, as, as I've just mentioned. Finally, let me just quickly talk a little bit about uh, subject combinations and where you can get more information. So if you go to this slide, you'll see uh, I've got our department's website. You can get some more information there about what our department does. You can also look in the, the file that's attached to this open day folder for, for a brochure. Uh, and then if you want to have more uh, detailed information about the contents of programs, in other words, programs are like little baskets of subjects that are put together and these together form a degree. We call these programs. You can find all of this in the university calendar and you can see the link uh, that's down there in, in blue. One of the, the programs that our department is very prominent in is the BA in International Studies. It's a very, it's a very popular program because it combines politics, history with foreign languages and a little bit of economics. And this gives, gives students a good background uh, to then after the BA go into a whole range of, of, of other, of different types of jobs. Um, and then, so finally, thank you very much for listening to, to me talk today and feel free to contact us if you have any more questions. Thank you.